of Jorvik. So you probably noticed that there is no more snow. Star Stable told us that the winters on Jorvik are kind of short, but if you ever miss the snow, you can always pay a visit to Diana Valley. But also, this year, Jorvik's yearly tradition of hunting for the final Christmas present is back at it again. I will tell you where you can go to do those quests. Um, first of all, Professor Jura in Fairgrove, you need to have left a picture with Mr. Sandman with Elizabeth. The second one is Elsa Einstein in Diana Valley, you need to have checked the mail with Nick Stoneground. The third one is Jamie Ollatree in New Hillcrest, you need to have given the gluten-free bread to Ricky. By the way, I really don't know how I need to pronounce gluten free. Let me know down below in the comments how you exactly need to pronounce it. It's very difficult for me, I'm sorry. So the fourth person is Catherine at Jarlaheim. You need to have brought Mrs. Drake a coffee from Stablebox. I really love the name Stablebox because it makes me think of Starbucks. And yeah, you know, Starbucks is just so amazing. The fifth person is Pamela Moon River in Crescent Moon Village. You need to have poured sand into GED's petrol tanks around Old Ridgecaster. Next, we got Major Claus in Cape West Fishing Village. You need to have told Major Claus how you got the key to the city back. And the last one is Marley at Marley's Farm. And as you can see, I am at Marley's Farm, so we can check those quests out right now. Oh my gosh, guys, I totally forgot that you first have to talk to Mrs. Holstead in Moreland, where I am right now, in order to begin the present hunting. So I'm gonna do that right now. And yeah, I'll see you very soon at Mrs. Holstead's. It's so satisfying to finally see a yellow question mark. Like, I haven't seen these in a while. Anyways, let's get started with reading quests. Hey Isabella, are you here to look for the last of the Christmas gifts in Moreland? What? You have never looked at the final gift before? It's an old Eurovision tradition. Once upon a time, there was an Earl who was so crazy about Christmas that he couldn't wait until Christmas Day to open his presents. Every year was the same. Days and days before Christmas, there was a gift wrap scattered all over the castle. In the end, the Queen had a nub and hid all the presents all around the castle. The Earl looked and looked and found all of them before Christmas Day. All except one. Unfortunately, the Queen had forgotten where she'd hidden one of the gifts, which was just as well for the Earl as he then had something to do long after Christmas. He found it in the end and the Queen had never seen him so happy, even though the present just had a dry old cookie inside. Since then, we always hide one extra present after Christmas and everyone who wants to can hunt it down. The last present doesn't contain anything particularly special, but treasure hunts are always fun. Do you want to give it a go, Isabella? If you find the present I've hidden, you can have a proper present for me in return. You want to try? Great! I've hidden it somewhere in Moreland's table, so look there and come back to me afterwards. So now we need to find the Christmas present Mrs. Holsud has hidden in Moreland's tables, so yeah, let's go! So I found the present and it's right over here if you were still searching for it. So let's click on this guy and go back to Mrs. Holtzud and check the quest out. Okay, let's take a look what we can do right now. Oh, we get two Clementine oranges. Thanks so much, Mrs. Holtzud. So I decided to write Wolf Soul today because he's just so, so adorable. Yes, this is one of the horses who came out last week and I'm still so in love with those horses. But anyways, I'm standing in front of Marley and I'm gonna click on him. I'm not gonna read all the text, but we're gonna take a look where the hidden present is at Marley's farm, so let's go. So I also found this present, I'm gonna click on it and then head back to Marley. So here we are, let's click on him and see what kind of gift we are going to get. We got an apple! Thanks so much, Marley! Also, James got a quest for us, so let's check out that quest in Fort Pinta. Here we are in Fort Pinta at James and we're gonna take a look what he has to say. So I'm assuming this is a little raise and it says gather up all the Santa decorations before time runs out. So let's do that. We also get an item for this and I'm gonna speed this up. So yeah, enjoy the speed up. You 
cleaned everything up. Now return to James. There we go. We have done this race. And now we're going to be getting our reward. So let's click on the quest and receive our reward. And as you can see, we got two carrots and I'm super happy with them. So thanks so much, James. So James has got some more races for me and I'm not gonna do those in this video. You can do it on my own if you want to. So yeah, I love these quests so much. Like, they're so awesome. These are my favorite kinds of quests, I think. So there's also a guy in Silver Glit Village. I don't know what his name is yet, but we'll take a look very, very soon. As you can see, I'm now in Silver Glit at Robert at his table thingy. And we're gonna take a look how this quest works. So let's click on him and take a look what we need to do. We need to find the almond in the Christmas porridge. So let's do that. I love this animation, like it looks so cool, but... Oh, what did I found? You found an almond. Be sure to make a wish. I wish more luck. I wish for something nice to wear. I wish to carry on having a good heart. Um, I'm gonna go for this. What did you wish for? Something nice to wear. Can you give me something nice to wear? A hat. We got a hat, guys. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, I don't think... I don't feel like it's pretty. I'm sorry, but I don't really like these kind of caps. I'm sorry, but if you like these, that's awesome, of course, but I don't really like these. And last but not least, Game Master Ilva and Matilda are still enjoying their winter stop thingy vacation. They'll be back soon, so keep an eye out on their channel. Link will be down below in the description. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new. And I really hope I see you next week with a new update video. Bye guys.